share with you what I believe is my unique perspective, talking about how Iran destabilized Iraq during my time there. But before I begin, I can't tell you how moving it was for me personally to see the people of Ashraf free, safe, and prosperous. A commitment was made in 2004, and we were finally able to deliver on it with the support of the Albanian government and the courage and perseverance of a lot of people. So to all the people of Ashraf in Tirana, it's wonderful to see you. Back to, back to Iran. And, you know, from the moment that, that we, I went in there, it was clear to me that Iran's objective was to stop the Iraqi people from building a free, democratic society that respected the rights of all of Iraq's ethnic and sectarian groups. And I watched them as they bought political support by contributing to Iraqi politicians and political organizations. I, I watched as they built public support by providing economic aid uh, to communities in the southern part of the country. And I watched as they actively trained Shia militias and fomented sectarian violence that swept Iraq from 2006 to 2007. There can be no doubt that Iran was the principal accelerant of that sectarian violence and that they are directly responsible for the deaths of hundreds of coalition forces and thousands of Iraqis. Later that year, that same year, we caught them red-handed. We caught six Quds Forts members uh, in a safe house actively plotting to subvert Iraq. They had maps on the wall with color-coded areas of Baghdad for the different sectarian groups. And they had arrows where they intended to forcefully move populations from one area to, to the other. Iraq, Iran was conducting terrorism inside of Iraq, and the Quds Force, the uh, Republican Guards, was the vehicle that they were using to make that happen. So my experience tells me that they're not done, that this regime will continue to export terror and foment sectarian violence to accomplish their political objectives uh, around Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen, and in Lebanon. And countries that use terror to achieve their political objectives are threats not only to their internal populations, but to the international community at large. And today, no government that supports and exports terror can become a productive player in our world. Change must come to Iran. Thank you.